the sisters of St Mary's Convent Gorakhpur a part of the Apostolic Carmel Congregation founded by our dear foundress venerable mother veronica present a glimpse of god's divine call and purpose we have been on a beautiful journey of faith and service in the apostolic carmel congregation we are deeply grateful to our divine master for illuminating our paths over the years as we follow the apostolic carmel way of life with hearts full of love and dedication we strive to serve the lord and humanity may our journeys continue to be blessed with joy peace and the presence of the divine master we pray that this beautiful life of consecration may inspire many young and talented youth of today to dedicate their lives to this noble cause called for the kingdom of god chosen by our divine master to serve god and his people in the loveliest vineyard we are blessed and anointed to love and serve in the ac way of life looking upon the mother of carmel who is our only role model let us carry the lamp of love and dispel the darkness around us by sharing sisterly love with the people of god through our joyful surrender taste and see how good is the lord in this beautiful garden of carmel spread the fragrance of aroma to the world around us may our hearts remain faithful may our love forever shine may we bloom in god's garden and forever be divine and forever be divine dear friends especially the youth of today as we the sisters of st mary's convent gorakhpur celebrate the vocation week i sister valsa belonging to the congregation of the apostolic carmel would like to share with you my vocation story which i hope will help you to pray constantly listen to your inner voice and see what is god's plan for your life my journey to religious life and call to serve christ and his people to the apostolic carmel congregation originated from my love and devotion to mother mary 
and praying of the rosary every day right from my childhood my parents instilled into me a great love and devotion to mother mary seeing the prayerful and committed life of priests and religious working zealously for the welfare of others especially the poor and needy i too felt an urge within me to become a sister and dedicate my life in the service of others this year as i celebrate the golden jubilee of my religious profession i recall with joy and gratitude the innumerable blessings god has showered on me for accompanying me in my journey of life and i repeat with the psalmist how lovely is your dwelling place o lord what peace and joy to feel so close to you glancing at the needy world and suffering humanity around us christ continues to repeat come follow me the harvest is great and plentiful but the laborers are very few what is your response